Meanwhile, Sanders David Perdue and Kelly Loeffler made a campaign stop in Perry today, rallying supporters for the upcoming runoff election. Ashlyn Webb was there and talked to an expert about what to expect in Georgia over the next few months. What was made clear in this rally today is that Georgia is on everyone's minds. That's something that Senator Kelly Leffler said to a crowd of people here at the Georgia National Fairgrounds. That's because of how crucial this runoff is for not only the state of Georgia, but also the whole country. Both Senators Kelly Leffler and David Perdue stressed that this January will determine the fate of the Republican Party. Help us be the last line of defense against this absolutely rabid uh, Democrat intent for our country. If their opponents, John Ossoff and Raphael Warnock, take both these Senate seats, Democrats will control the Senate. Both senators say this could influence national politics for years. Look, we're the firewall. It's not just the control of the U.S. Senate. It's the future of our country. We are going to hold the line against socialism right here in Georgia. So how likely is it for Democrats to take the Senate? Chris Grant, a political science professor at Mercer University, says there's a small possibility. But Georgia is a trend Republican state, and in runoff elections, Republicans are more likely to turn out than Democrats. Regardless, he says the winners for both seats will likely be candidates from the same party. So either Leffler and Purdue or Warnock and Ossoff. I think it's really hard to imagine the voter that goes in and votes for David Perdue and doesn't also vote for Kelly Leffler. I think it's really hard to imagine the voter that goes into the polls and votes for Raphael Warnock and doesn't vote for John Ossoff. Because the race is so important, both sides are pouring resources into the state. Arkansas Republican Senator Tom Cotton even traveled to Perry Thursday to campaign with Perdue and Leffler. Right now, Democrats will hold a majority in the House of Representatives, and Cotton says he's campaigning for the two Georgia senators to keep Democrats from taking the majority. That is the nightmare dystopian scenario because Chuck Schumer would be in charge. As the race heats up, Grant says to expect more visits from Republicans and Democrats. The circus has come to town and the circus is going to stay in town. And it is a huge, impactful election. The decision of the state on who will represent Georgia in the U.S. Senate um, will decide who controls the U.S. Senate for the next two years, which will be largely determinative of how much Joe Biden's agenda is adopted. Both Senate runoffs are January 5th. Reporting in Perry, Ashlyn Webb, 13 W Maisie News. And early voting for the runoff begins December 14th, lasts for 16 days. You can apply for an absentee ballot on the Secretary of State's website. And to help walk you through everything you need to know before the election, we've put together a January runoff voter guide. Just text the word runoff to the number on your screen, 478-752-1309. We'll send that guide right to your phone.